Welcome back to another video to help you prepare for your U.S. naturalization interview. In this video, I will test your knowledge of the 100 civics questions. Remember, for the civics test portion, the U.S. CIS officer will ask you up to 10 randomly chosen questions from the 100 civics test questions list. You must answer six questions correctly to pass the civics test portion. Are you ready for this challenge? First, I will only ask you the questions without providing you with the answers. Then I will repeat the questions and provide the correct answers. And feel free to pause the video to write down the answers as you go. First question, what do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? Next question, what is one reason colonists came to America? Third question, what does the president's cabinet do? Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? We elect a president for how many years? What is the rule of law? Name one right only for United States citizens. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? Last question, why did the colonists fight the British? Now let's check how many correct answers you get. Hopefully you've got all of them right. First question, what do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom. Third question, what does the president's cabinet do? Advise the president. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. We elect a president for how many years? Four years. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Missouri River. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. Last question. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because they didn't have self-government. Did you get at least six of the answers correct? If you got six of the answers correct, congratulations. You can pass the civics test portion of the citizenship interview.